These days, I don't really care for all that empty conversation. No, no. These days, I don't care for competition. You're the one that's racing. No, I don't really wanna talk about what I got. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bree for those of you who are new to my channel. Today y'all, I'm going to be showing you guys how to place mods, CC, and tray files into your game. Yeah, so y'all see this background, right? Like, it's beautiful y'all. So y'all gonna see this background a lot. I just want you guys to know that like, it's even going to be inside my game too. Once I figure out how to, you know, create loading screens and stuff like that y'all, it's... I love it. Before we even get into downloading the CC, the mods, and stuff like that, you guys do want to make sure you open up your web browsing and you know download 7-Zip or RenWar. I will be showing you guys how to download RenWar because this is what I use. You guys will need RenWar or 7-Zip just to extract or unzip any files that any mods or CC comes in. Without this, the CC or as y'all can see by the last footage it did not record all the way but as i was saying without reward or 7-zip when you have zip files and you don't have this then all your cc and mods will not appear in the game as you can see you have two options you have buy reward or you have download reward for 40 days this is the free trial y'all um so i'm going to hit download and once i do that i'm going to hit download once again and as y'all can see you guys have it for 40 days Next, you will see all of this. This is the steps, the tutorial that shows you how to download reward. So step one says open the file. What you want to do is find downloads at the top right. If you guys do not have this, then it should be down here somewhere. And if it's not, then you will have to go to your downloads folder and you know, open it up. So I'm going to hit open file. You guys may not see this part right here, but this part is just asking you if you want to allow any changes to your device. Hit yes. Now you guys will see the terms and conditions. Y'all, I'm not about to read all this because I don't feel like doing that, even though it's important too, but y'all, this is all I need to know right here, okay? Anyway, <laughs> it's gonna also show you where, you know, RimWare will be installed into your computer. Hit install, y'all, and right here, y'all, I leave it as it is. So I'm just gonna hit okay. Once that is done, you guys will hit done. And once you guys see this folder, you guys will know that RimWare is successfully installed into your computer. on i will show you guys how to download mods now before i even do that i want to show you guys how to get into the mods folder and what i'm going to do is click on documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then you want to make sure you find the mods folder once you find the mods folder this is where all your cc and mods will go into okay so an example i don't download this mod but i would download it just for this video i'm going to search sim realist in my search bar and right here i'm going to click on sr news some of you may know that organic smb bills and real estate mods are all updated i'm going to be installing organic just for this video after this y'all i'm going to delete it. i scroll down and as you can see right here so i'm going to click on this link and it's going to take me straight to the organic mods page before you guys download any mod or cc make sure you guys read the post because it has important things it's going to also give you a tutorial on how to place this stuff into your mods folder scrolling down you guys it's going to tell you what game version this mod is compatible with it's going to also tell you if this mod conflicts with any other mod and as you can see right here it says none so far so what i'm going to do is hit download now this is just if you guys want to support the creator i'm going to hit no thanks just take me to the downloads and i'm going to click the first one okay so now we're back to our folders y'all if you guys need help with entering the mods folder you to click electronic arts the sims 4 and then go into the mods folder now we're going to place this mod into our mods folder double click on it and i'm going to of course get this my free trial has ended i still use it so if you guys like to drag the files into your mods folder hover over these and you know just drag it into your mods folder to extract you want to click extract to you're going to find documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then mods and then you want to click okay 
it should be placed into your mods folder y'all let me find it right here this is it right here let me show you another way for this way what you want to do is right click on the mod and you want to go to ring war and then you want to click extract here hover over these two and drag it into your mods folder i'm going to hit replace because you know i just did it and you know that is how you install mods I'm going to now show you guys how to download CC and place it into your mods folder. This is the same way as placing mods into your game with the CC. You can create subfolders or you can just place it into your mods folder. I'm going to head to downloads and I'm going to find the feature creations, y'all. And I'm just going to keep scrolling until I find something that I like. The Sims resource be having, you know, some good stuff. Y'all might download some clothes because my Sims need some more clothes, okay? I need child CC and mail sims cc i don't have enough okay oh i want to download this lip preset so i'm going to download that lip preset and then i'm going to download what else in order to not get asked y'all you guys want to become a vip now i am going to oh it's a no it's preset y'all i'm sorry <laughs> i love me some presets y'all okay oh, y'all this is cute okay so i'm going to hit download that is cute y'all see that <laughs> That is so cute. Okay, let me show y'all how to put this into y'all game because I'm gonna keep going on. Okay, so now as you can see, we're going to head back into our Sims 4 mods folder, documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and mods. Okay, as you guys can see, we no longer have to extract anything, we don't have to unzip anything. So all I'm going to do now is control click on both of these and you know just drag it into my presets folder. And for the clothes, y'all, I'm gonna find my clothing folder. And I'm just going to control click both of them and drag it into my clothing folder. There is some CC that require you to unzip things like furniture CC. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let's just say I want to download. I'm going to download this. Okay. Hit download. And as y'all can see, it created a zip file. I'm going to do all three of these, y'all, because <laughs> I need some CC. Maybe a little extra, y'all. Okay. I'm a little extra. <laughs> Okay, I love me some of their furniture. So as y'all can see, we are back into our mods folder and back into where we downloaded our CC into. This is all the zip files. I like to just hit reward and extract all of them here. You guys could also double click on it and you know drag it into your folder. So I'm going to shift click all of these, y'all. And what I'm going to do is find my furniture folder and I'm going to just drag it into my furniture folder. Y'all done. It's in your game. We don't need that anymore. Okay, loves, last but not least, I am about to show you guys how to add tray files into your game. To get to the tray files, what you guys want to do is go to documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then find tray, which is right here. And this is where you will be placing every tray file into. So as y'all can see, I am now on Bean Built's Patreon. Her houses, her builds, y'all, beautiful. Okay, that's all I gotta say. As I was scrolling, through her, you know, Patreon off camera, y'all. I saw Sonic. When y'all download a CC, bills, anything, please make sure you read the description as they will have instructions and, you know, they will give you tutorials. As you can see, say you will need to, you will need to download Build Sonic CC pack. First, I'm going to download the Sonic Drive and stuff and I'm going to hit download again and it's going to take me to another Google Drive. So I'm going to hit download right here and it should download in one zip file, as y'all can see. And then for the download of the actual build, I'm going to hit download and this may take longer y'all. It's going to show this. Me, I just ignore it and I just download anyway. Like I said y'all, it's taking forever. But y'all, as y'all can see, this right here says that it cannot scan for viruses and the file is too large. That's okay. I hit download anyway. When y'all download the CC and mods y'all, y'all do want to make sure you guys are careful because you guys do not want to attract any viruses or anything you know that harms your computer. I'm going to come back to you guys when this is finished. Okay, y'all. So it has finally finished downloading. We are back in our tray files, y'all. I'm going to hover over both of them. I click on reward and I strike each archive to a separate folder. I wait for it to finish. And as y'all can see, it has its own folder. This is being built and this is the tray file. So I'm going to just hover over all of them and I'm just going to move them, drag them into my tray files and that is it y'all so moving on to the mods
I control click on these just to remove them because y'all I have separate folders for half of this stuff and I do not want to have duplicates now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my furniture folder and I'm going to just drag everything into here and as y'all can see it's saying I already have these files so I'm going to just skip these Everything that's here, I already have in my game, so I'm not going to worry about adding that into my folders. I'm going to find the other half of the CC that you needed to install, and I'm going to place that into my furniture also. That is how you install tray files and CC and mods. I'm gonna go into game so that you guys can see this stuff. I'm gonna delete those folders because I do not, no longer need them. I am now in the game y'all i feel like i am loud so i'm going to try to keep it down okay let me resume my existing game with brianna don't worry about her being in that box don't worry about constance either y'all <laughs> okay let's go <laughs> it's manage worlds now before you place any lot to ensure that all the cc that you have placed in the lot is there you want to control shift c type in bb.move objects where is it? making sure i have it right and y'all I want to make sure the cheat is on and i'm going to also do bb dot enable free build because yeah okay so now i'm going to place this lot in new crest because that's where i place all my lots y'all i don't even have enough room the build will be in your library so all you want to do is click my library and click include custom content so sonic is a 30 by 20 lot so let me see if i have any lots I'm not about to place it right there. Okay, let's see if it's in Windenburg. Let's see. Actually, let's put it here. Forget this cafe. I put this cafe down. Let's put it right here. We're going to place that lot. Place that lot directly right here. And we want to change this to a restaurant. Furnish. Yes. And then we will now wait. Oh, our son ain't just placed. Hold on. What is this? She means incomplete. Don't be playing with me. Hold on. Let's go into build mode on this lot. So we in the game and it's saying that our espresso bar. It's not even a cafe. I put it as a restaurant. A toilet? Are you serious? Because of a toilet is incomplete. That's easy. Let me just place this toilet. Let's place my favorite toilet ever. Okay. There. We good. We Gucci. Okay. And y'all, as y'all can see, this is the Sonic build, y'all. It's so beautiful. Can't wait to take my Sims to Sonic, y'all. Our Sonic is now complete, y'all. I'm gonna put some lot trays down. I'm about to save it just in case. Okay, so let's go back to Manage Worlds. And we're gonna go back to Brianna so I can show you guys the CC clothing that we placed into our game. We are playing Brianna now. And I'm going to turn on testing cheats. Hold on. Let me show you guys. Now I'm going to open up the cheat menu by pressing and holding on control shift C. Typing in testing cheats. Making sure it's on. Turn on cast the edit mode so that I can fully edit my sim. Now I'm going to shift click on my sim. I'm modifying cast. Now we're in cast mode and y'all. Yeah. Y'all see Brianna beautiful self. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus. And we're now I'm going to show you guys the CC that we placed into the game. Okay. So now I am searching for the shirt and the skirt that I placed in it. What that shirt look like again, y'all? I forgot. Honestly, I know it had like a butterfly on it. Please don't say I'm skipping past it. Let me remove formal. Let me do custom content too. It gotta be somewhere. Scrolling through. See y'all, uh, I know I had it right. Okay, this is what the shirt looks like. It has this butterfly and then this is the skirt. It was right here at the bottom. This is the shirt that we placed into our game, y'all. <gasps> That's cute. Let's find the skirt. I'm sure it's at the bottom too. Yep, it's at the bottom too. Y'all, this is the skirt. As y'all can see, this is the outfit that we put into our game. This is the outfit, y'all. It's so cute. I honestly do not feel like showing you guys the build and buy mode furniture that we placed into the game. Oh, the mod. 
I forgot about the mod. Okay. Let's see if we had the mod in our game. We got the mod in our game. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, I honestly do not like my sis in this box. Come teleport. Okay. You need your freedom. Feel good now? Yes. Get that fresh air, girl. Okay. This man was in that box for two days. <laughs> my bad, girl. Okay, love. So, that is it for this video. If you guys follow every step that I showed you guys, then you guys should be all set. I did not show you guys the building by objects because I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm tired. As y'all can see, it is about to be 2 o'clock in the morning. I always go to bed at 12. So, I'm tired, y'all. Another thing before I, you know, end this video, y'all, I want to call you guys something else other than loves because I feel like loves is oversaid. I feel like everybody says it, y'all. If you guys have any ideas of any names that you guys want me to call you all, comment down below. So as I was editing you guys, I did realize that I forgot to let you guys know that you would have to enable custom content and script mods in your game in order to see everything that you download. So to do that, you would just go to options, click game options, and then find other, click that. Now you want to check to make sure that your script mods and your custom content is enabled. If it isn't and you have to check it off, they do require you to restart your game. Another thing just from experience, a tip for reducing lag. Once you exit out of your game, go to your Sims 4 folder and delete the following files that you see me currently deleting. And also, this is also recommended before downloading CC and mods. And yeah, y'all, so if you guys found this video very helpful, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, y'all, because we are on the road to 1K. If you guys want to see other tutorials, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys follow me on all of my social media. On TikTok, we are on the road to 10K. So let's get there, y'all. And yeah, um, see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Cause I realized that